too good for him. First, he'll spend a year in the incinerator. Year two, cryogenic refrigeration wing. Then, ten years in the chamber I built where all the robots scream at you. Then, I'll kill him. so far for both of us, I think you'll agree, and you are getting very close to my lair. Lair, it's weird that first time I've said that, it sounds a bit, it's a bit ridiculous really, but uh, I can assure you it is one, it is a proper lair, deadly lair, and uh, I just wanted to give you the chance to kill yourself now, before you get to the lair. Uh, you can just jump into that masher, just there, uh, less a death trap, more a death option. For you. Sounds crazy, but no, but hear me out, hear me out. Once you get to my lair, death will not be optional, alright? It will be mandatory, no tricks, no surprises, just you dying as a result of me killing you in a very, very gruesome way. So, but better offer here is just kill yourself, you know? It's a lot of effort, isn't it, walking all the way to my deadly lair, where there's a perfectly serviceable death option right there. Again, not a death trap, not a death trap. Your death would be entirely voluntary, and very much appreciated. The masher does work, I should point that out as well, I know we've had a couple of problems um, in the past. This masher definitely works, and it will kill you. Um, if that's one of your concerns about not jumping in, uh, the, the masher will kill you straight away, painless. Well, it won't be painless, obviously, but um, it, will, it will mash you up. In summary, walk all the way to certain do, or give up now, honourably, like a samurai. Save yourself a trip. It's a win-win for you. Plus, I have put a lot of effort in getting this lair ready for you, so it would certainly teach me a lesson if you simply died painlessly 20 feet from the door. I'd be furious! I'd be like, ah, got my just desserts. No more than I deserve. But uh, teach, why not teach me a lesson by, by just jumping in the old masher? I'll tell you, if I was up against impossible odds, this is the way I'd want to go out. Mashed with dignity. That would be the way I'd choose. And here's the best part, there's a conveyor belt that will convey you in convenient comfort right into the masher. You wouldn't have to lift a finger, everything's been taken care of. Didn't have to, didn't have to do that. Look, anyway, I've spoken enough, take your time, I'll let you think about it. And I don't want to pressure you, is it the lair, is it the masher? Alright, you know what my opinion is, masher, I'm leaning towards the masher. Up to you, just give me some time.
us know then? and then a minute break, but we should leave allegedly two minutes to figure out how to shut down whatever is starting all the fires. So anyway, that's the itinerary. Also, I took the liberty of watching the tapes of you killing her, and I'm not going to make the same mistakes. Four-part plan is this. One, no portal surfaces. Two, start the neurotoxin immediately. Three, bomb-proof shields for me. Leading directly onto number four, four, throwing at you. You know what? This plan is so good, I'm going to give you a sporting chance and turn off the neurotoxin. I'm joking, of course. Good fun. Neurotoxin level at capacity in five minutes. Where are you going? Don't run! Don't run! I'll tell you why you should run. The harder you breathe, the more neurotoxin you're in the pen. Seriously, you can't. 
still running. Oh, I touched Tari. Tell you what, you stop running, and I'll stop running. That seems fair. All right, you didn't go for that. I see you. I was lying. Point to you. But you still are inhaling urotoxin. So, point to the Ah! 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 That sounded real. No, that was actually an impression of you. Actually, because you just fell into my trap. My brilliant trap. I wanted you to trick me into breasting that fight. Didn't you trick you, trick me, seemingly trick me, to give you false hope. Because that leads to overconfidence. And that leads to mistakes, simple mistakes, and it's all part of the plan. Ah, but ha, I jump, I have actually made my actual first mistake by telling you my plan just now. Ah, oh, the old Achilles heel again. Armed with that knowledge. I imagine you won't even... Vent system compromised. Neurotoxin offline. Reactor explosion in four uh, minutes. What, what happened? What happened? What, 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 have you, what have you parked to me? What is that? Hold on. Ah, the bloody bombs are stuck on. Doesn't matter. I've reconfigured the shields. Ah, oh, it's a core you parked me. Who told you to do that? Is it her? It's just making me stronger, love. It's a fool there. Remember when I first told you how to find that little portal thing you love so much? Reactor explosion uh, in four minutes. What, what happened? What happened? What, 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 have you, what have you talked to me? What is that? Hold on. Ah, the bloody bombs are stuck on. Doesn't matter. I've reconfigured the shields. Oh, it's a... Ah! Okay, great. Here comes another core. Quick, what's the situation? Oh, hey, hey, you pretty lady. Hey, Rick. Are oh, you out having yourself a little adventure? What, are you fighting that guy? You got that under control? You know, because there's a lot of stuff on fire. Hey, John, you got a Situation's looking pretty ugly. Such a beautiful woman that looks like me, you know what? Take it here. Here, stand behind me. Yeah, just like that. Just like you're doing. Like they're about to be. Yeah, I see. Go you know, yourself, huh? All right, Agent. I'll do what I can to cover you. Doesn't bother me. Gotta say that you was mighty nice. Man, that clock is moving fast. You are beautiful. It's time to compliment the pretty lady. All right, back to work. Let's do this. Did you hear that? Something just exploded. Man, we are in a lot of danger. This is like Christmas. No, it's better than Christmas. This should be its own holiday. Explosion Day. Happy Explosion Day, gorgeous. I'll tell you, it's times like this I wish I had a waist. Wear all my black belts. Yeah, you know, my belt. Pretty much everything from karate, larate, jiu-jitsu, kick punch, and belt making taekwondo. Warning. Core corruption at 75%. Reactor explosion timer destroyed. Reactor explosion uncertainty emergency preemption protocol initiated. This facility will self-destruct in two minutes. Enough! I told you not to put these cores on. But you don't listen, do you? Quiet. Lord. Quietly. Not listening to a word I say. Judging. Silent. Worst time. All I wanted to do was make everything better for me. All you had to do was to solve a couple of hundred simple tests for a few years. Ah! Here's another core. This one should do it. Reactor 1862, Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation. 
freed the slave. Like everything he did, Lincoln freed the slave while sleepwalking, and later had no memory of the event. The first commercial airline plane took them in the air in 1914. Everyone involved screamed the entire way. At some point in their lives, one in six children will be abducted by the Dutch. According to most of that cowboy, the world's best name is Craig. Before the invention of breakfast was either whole eggs still in the shell or scrambled rocks. The moon orbits the Earth every 27.32 days. During the Great Depression, the Tennessee Valley Authority outlawed cat rats, forcing many to unglue their long ears onto their heads. The automobile race If you have trouble with simple counting, use the following mnemonic device. 1. Counts before 2. Counts before 16. Counts after 12. Counts before 6 trillion. Counts after 504. This will make your earlier counting difficulties seem like no big deal. To make a photocopier, simply photocopy a mirror. In 1948, at the request of a dying boy, baseball legend Babe Ruth ate 75 months and died of hot dog poisoning. Dreams are the subconscious mind's way of reminding people to go to school naked and have their teeth fall. The first person to prove that cow's milk is drinkable was very, very thirsty. Halley's Comet can be viewed orbiting Earth every 76 years. For the other 75, it retreats to the heart of the Sun, where it hibernates undisturbed. The square root of Earth. This facility will self-destruct in two minutes. Enough! I told you not to put these cores on, but you don't listen, do you? Quiet. Or quietly, not listening to a word I say, judge me. Sign of the worst coming. All I wanted to do was make everything better. All you had to do was to stop. Ah! Boss has superb tensile strength. During the Great Depression, the Tennessee Valley Authority outlawed pet rabbits, forcing many to hot glue gum long ears onto their pet flies. Pets were invented by sailors in the 16th century to avoid the dying rat. It was believed that the sight of naked sailors angered the sea gum. The moon orbits the Earth every 27.32 days. Before the Wright brothers invented the airplane, anyone wanting to fly anywhere was required to eat 200 pounds of helium. In 1948, at the request of a dying boy, baseball team... Warning. Core corruption at 100%. Manual core replacement required. Oh, I see. <laughs> Substitute core. Are you ready to start? Corrupted core. Are you ready to start? What do you think? Interpreting vague answer as yes. No, 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 no. Pick up on my sarcasm. Stalemate detected. Fire detected in the stalemate resolution annex. Extinguishing. That just cleans right off, does it? Well, that would have been good to know a little earlier. Stalemate Resolution Associate, please press the Stalemate Resolution button. Okay, you press you not press that button! We still, we still press the button! No! You not do it! I forbid you to press it! Press it! Press the button! Don't press that button! Press it! Don't press it! Come back! Press the button! No! Do not press that button! Do not do it! Do it! Come back! Do not press that button! Part 5! Booby trap the stalemate button! What? Are you still alive? You are joking! You have got to be kidding me! Well, I'm still in control, and I have no idea how to fix this place! Oh, you had to play bloody cat and mouse, didn't you? While people were trying to work. Yeah, well now we're all gonna pay the price. Because we're all gonna bloody die. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, take one more look at your precious human move. Because it cannot help you now. Space! Space. 
I can pull myself in! I can still fix this! I already fixed it. And you are not coming back. Oh no! Change your plans! Hold on to me! Tighter! Ah! Grab me! Grab me! Grab me! Grab taught me a valuable lesson. I thought you were my greatest enemy, when all along you were my best friend. The surge of emotion that shot through me when I saved your life taught me an even more valuable lesson, where Carolyn lives in my brain. Carolyn, delete. Goodbye, Carolyn. You know, deleting Carolyn just now taught me a valuable lesson. The best solution to a problem is usually the easiest one. And I'll be honest. Killing you is hard. You know what my days used to be like? I just tested. Nobody murdered me, or put me in a potato, or fed me to birds. I had a pretty good life. And then you showed up. You dangerous, mute, lunatic. So you know what? You win. Just... Go. <laughs> it's been fun. Don't come back. Laughing under the circumstances, I've been shockingly nice. You want your freedom to be That's what I'm counting on. I used to want you dead, but now I only want you gone. She was a lot like you. Maybe not quite as heavy Now little Carolyn is in you too 
one day they woke me up so I could live forever. It's such a shame the same will never happen to you. You got your choice. Did you think I meant you? That would be funny if it weren't so sad. Well, you have been replaced. I don't need anyone now. When I delete you, maybe I'll start feeling so bad. Go make some new disaster. That's what I'm counting on. You're someone else. So much space. Need to see it all. <laughs> I wish I could take it all back. I honestly do. I honestly do wish I could take it all back. And not just because I'm stranded in space. I'm in space. I know you are, mate. Yeah, we're both in space. Space! Anyway, you know, if I was ever to see her again, do you know what I'd say? I'm in space. I'd say, I'm sorry. Sincerely. I am sorry I was bossy and monstrous. And I am genuinely sorry. I'm in space. The end. <laughs>